everybody. Welcome to TFT Tarot for Today Divine Dabblings with Oberon and Banshee. And this is me, Oberon, with the emotional exchanges, my outlook for the next week, and that's the week that starts on today, Friday the 13th, and goes to next Thursday, that's the 19th. So this reading is all about what's going on in your emotional life, it could talk about who's coming towards you. It could talk about just strong feelings with friends or lovers or spouses or situations. As always, I like to shake it up a little bit. So this time I'm going to use my uh, tarot that's called the Secrets Tarot. And I'm going to do a reading for each sign of the zodiac with just two cards. The first card will be the Opportunity coming to you and then the next card will be how you need to deal with it so opportunity or challenge and how you need to deal with it so we're just going to go through the entire zodiac starting with Aries the very first sign of the zodiac Aries is a fire sign and a cardinal sign all right, so Aries, what is the opportunity or challenge coming to you? It's the Knight of Pentacles. So in terms of romance, it seems like maybe something is steadily growing, coming towards you. It may be something that you can sort of realize that's maybe being hinted at, but it's just coming slowly towards you. You may be expecting it or you may not know that it's coming. So something is coming towards you that maybe brings structure or foundation to your emotional life or world. All right, so what is the way to deal with it or how you will deal with it? And it's the devil reversed. So the devil reversed says that you deal with it by freeing yourself from it. And so this may be the idea that maybe this is not something you really want coming towards you. Maybe it represents a travel or a journey away in terms of what this foundation is. Maybe this structure that's coming to you or this sense of somebody wanting to build structure is a prison <laughs> you need to free yourself let's just look at it that way all right so moving on to Taurus and each sign will get a fresh shuffle rather than just continuing on and possibly eliminating cards that might want to show up in other readings Okay, Taurus, what is coming towards you? What? Are, well, no, not what is coming towards you. I'm sorry. What is your challenge or opportunity in this week? That's the reverse Nine of Pentacles. The reverse Nine of Pentacles as an opportunity or challenge says you can move away from your comfort zone to experience something different emotionally that maybe is... A little risky for you, less secure, but maybe inviting all the same. And so now, how will you deal with that? And it's another night, but it's the Knight of Swords. And it seems to me like you're going to move right on to, into this as the challenge it is. But this may be really about you striking out, feeling this energy, feeling this this call to express yourself in some way. All right, Gemini. And don't forget to watch Happy Hour tomorrow from 10 to 11. I have to go into work, so it's going to be just exactly on time, pretty much. 
Gemini, what is the challenge or opportunity coming towards you? It's the reversed Eight of Pentacles. So the challenge is to maybe realize that you are not ready to move on emotionally, maybe from something that matters. Maybe it's something that's breaking up, or maybe it's somebody who just doesn't feel it anymore, or maybe you're the one that just doesn't feel it anymore. And so you sort of feel like you're caught here. You can't really move on. This may be a relationship that you don't know how to end, or maybe an emotional situation that doesn't seem to have an easy solution. There's still work to be done there. How are you going to deal with this? Well, you got a devil of a different horn, I think. This is trapping you. This is bringing out some codependent parts of you. You really are going to have to look at this idea here that maybe this relationship is something that really adds too much dependencies to your life or has, has problems for you. It's not bringing out the best. It may be bringing out the worst. Gemini's. Okay, going to move on to Cancer now. Cancer, what is the opportunity or challenge for you? And it's Knave or Page of Pentacles. There's a sense of visioning here with this card. The opportunity seems to be that maybe you might want to be looking at a number of things that relate to your emotional life. These could be choices of people, but more likely, I think this is mostly about finding out maybe about somebody new, a new acquaintance, a new set of friends, and maybe trying to relate to them from that point of an emotional exploration into something that maybe is a little bit foggy, like maybe you have to really get very involved before you start to realize where the emotionality lies. And I don't know, I don't say things like that very often, so it's kind of interesting. So the next card then represents what you're gonna to need to do or what how you will approach it, and it's the Ace of Pentacles. So this strongly suggests that maybe you need to build something here that has more structure to it. And you haven't done that yet, so this is going to be new for you. It may be that you are going to be building a new relationship. And it seems like maybe there's a sense of precariousness here, like you're still being very cautionate, Page of Pentacles reversed. So go easy with that. Okay, so Leo. Leo's another fire sign, but I believe it's a fixed sign, <clears throat> or I don't remember. <clears throat> okay, so Leo, what is the challenge or opportunity that may be coming to you? And it's the sun, upright. And this is a very good card for emotional relationships, love, of course. Maybe what this is saying is you are finding out who really loves you. Who really cares about you? Who wants something with you that is not just the heat of the moment, but something that sort of provides a continuity? There's the ideas of maybe building a family, having children, not necessarily in that order. <laughs> so how are you going to deal with that? Oh, it's the magician reversed. So there seems to be this idea that there's something that could go wrong here and that maybe maybe there's some trickery or some deception going on here. If you're feeling like maybe a person who is the son to you is hiding something or has has their own ulterior purposes, that could be a meaning here. This could be saying in general that maybe you're just not able to ponder through this relationship and you may make some mistakes. You have to be careful, Leo. All 
All right, so from Leo, we move to Virgo. We're almost halfway through. Virgo's an earth sign. And mutable. I had to think about it for a moment. So Virgo, what kind of challenge or opportunity do you face? Ooh, it may be a nice one, three of wands. There is some thrilling, emotionally thrilling opportunity that may be coming your way. And it may represent the idea that this is not, this is here for a limited time, that this is the kind of thing that maybe if you're not able to take advantage of it, you might miss this opportunity. But it looks like you really are ready for it. It may be something that you have been waiting for, and so you feel like you are there for it. How or in what way will you possibly deal with it? And it's the reverse King of Swords. Oh, reverse King of Swords energy is a warning to maybe be careful not to put too much aggressive or assertive energies into the situation. It's possible you could have some unintended consequences. You could maybe tear some things apart with that sword. So I'm just saying, Virgo, be careful. You have a tendency to sometimes want everything exactly a certain way. Once again, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater would be a good way of terming that. All right, so uh, from Virgo, we are now into the second half of the Zodiac, and that means we are on Libra. Libra is an air sign, and it is also cardinal. And the opportunity coming to you is the Two of Wands. It seems to me this says really... Your emotional life is going to really find its stride. You're going to feel like everything really has fallen into place and you have the world in your hands. The emotional world, the world of love or tenderness or whatever it is you desire. This is really a good card for you in this next week. So how are you going to deal with it? Oh, that's the reverse Queen of Swords or Queen of Cups, I'm sorry. And the reverse Queen of Cups says maybe there's a sense of emotional overwhelmment, that maybe you're going to have so many feelings here that you're, it's going to be confusing, or maybe you're going to run away with yourself in a way, you know. So take a chill pill. Although you have everything in order, you have to relate to it that way and not feel overwhelmed by it. You're not the first person who's had a very involved emotional life, maybe. Um, you just need to figure it out and and bring the emotions back to where they need to be, Libra. Okay, Scorpio now. My own sign, Scorpio, is a water sign that is fixed. So what is the opportunity coming to us, Scorpios? What's with all the court cards? We have lots of court cards here. So it's the Knave or Page of Wands. You're going to receive some sort of message or invitation, Scorpios. And so because this is an emotional romantic reading, it may pertain to that. Um, it could be good news coming to you about maybe somebody else's relationship, but it may be good news about your own relationship or other strong emotional relationships you have. It seems like it's an invitation. How are you going to deal with that? And it's the Eight of Pentacles. You have a plan. You just realize that whatever is coming, you just need to follow what you already know to be good. You, you have the skill sets to deal with emotional matters, and you have things pretty much in place, this seems to me like maybe the invitation is the beginning of a, a new relationship of some sort. Could just be friends, could be more, but it seems to me like it's coming to you, and probably you got it taken care of, Scorpio. All right, so let's go to Sagittarius. 
Sagittarius is, once again, another fire sign. And I believe they are mutables. Maybe they're fixed. I don't know. So I shouldn't say that. Anyways, what is the opportunity or challenge for the Sagittarians? King of Cups. And it's reversed. Your opportunity or challenge is to try to be a kinder person that maybe from an emotional point of view, something is really kind of eating at you. Something is maybe making you less than kind. Maybe you feel like there's a situation that you need to show who's boss, who's, who's going to deal out the tough love. And of course, this could be true, but I'm just thinking... Sagittarians, it's a it's a caution to just, you know, rein it in a little bit. You don't need to be overly mean to somebody, even if they deserve it. Sometimes people learn better, you know, from more positive things. But how are you going to deal with this then? Oh, well, it's justice reversed. And I could say that you're not going to deal with this well because maybe you're going to make a wrong decision here, a wrong choice. Um, but that could be about yourself. That maybe if this is about emotional matters, then you might screw up a relationship. It could be a, a strong friendship. It could be a better friendship. You have to be really careful because you're probably not getting all the facts, Sagittarius. So make sure you do before you make your important decisions. All right. Capricorn. And by the way, on Sunday uh, morning at 10 o'clock is Banshee's Material Matters, which is kind of like the more mundane or economic focus reading for the signs of the Zodiac, as this one is more about your emotional fluffy life. So that's at 10 a.m. Sunday mornings. All right, Capricorn. What opportunity or challenge is coming to you? And it's an opportunity for sure because it's an opportunity to find real unconditional happiness. The kind of happiness that comes from feeling like you are part of something. Part of a family. Part of a, a situation where love and feelings are fully accepted and even expected. Um, so I don't know what this means. I think it, it probably just means that maybe there's a family event or there's a coming together of the family in a way it's all good though how are you going to deal with that <clears throat> oh you have a lot to think about so maybe it's a family console of some sort and although it's all good this may lead you with thinking you need to make sure you're making the right move forward with whatever this situation is about. And it could be that, you know, you, you have doubts. Study everything and don't rush into any big decisions. Aquarius. Aquarius is an air sign. And I believe it's a fixed sign. I know Pisces is mutable, so I think that's what it is. <clears throat> if it's not fixed, it's cardinal. I should probably just shut my mouth. So Aquarius, what's going on? What's coming to you from that emotional point of view? The challenge or opportunity you may have. And once again, Another court card, it's the Knave or Page of Swords. It's reversed. Emotionally speaking, something you're not really well equipped to handle is going to happen, and it may find that you're going to look awkward, or you're going to feel clumsy, or you're going to feel like you don't have any grace. You know, you might feel like if you're going somewhere where you have to sort of show some class get out on the floor and dance a formal dance, things like that. You feel challenged by that. You might feel like you, you don't have what it takes for that. How are you going to deal with that? Oi, it's the lovers reversed. You might make a different choice, and this choice 
might be good in the short term because you feel like, no, I don't have to show that I'm clumsy or that I don't know how to do certain things. But it may not be the right choice for you. You may end up feeling unsatisfied emotionally with this choice. You may feel like you should have chose the other white, black, or yellow meat, <laughs> whatever that is. Not trying to offend anybody, but somebody said that to me once. I chose the other white meat. Yes, it was the one I didn't choose that said that. All right, so finally, we are on Pisces. Pisces is a water sign, and they are mut mutable. What are the challenges or opportunities on the emotional spectrum of their lives that is coming to them? <clears throat> wow, it's the hangman reverse. You may feel you have to come down from that tree, set aside some ego, and realize that maybe somebody was right for you and you didn't realize it, or some emotional feeling, excuse me, or choice was right for you, but you didn't get there. And now you may be feeling like whether or not you can pull that back together. That may be the question on whether or not you can repurpose the choice or the decision. How will you deal with that? <clears throat> it's our friend, the Two of Pentacles, once again. And you probably won't deal with it because it's just going to be way too much work, way too much to balance with that. That whatever this emotional choice was, Pisces, you're going to have to live with it because to do otherwise would really upset so many other things in your life. I'm serious about that. So I hope, I hope that didn't depress you too much. All right. So that was our reading for the week. And as I mentioned, our show's happy hour, Banshee's Material Matters, are on the next two mornings, Saturday and Sunday at 10 o'clock. Also, our live stream will be on Sunday afternoon from 2 to 4 p.m. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next time. Take care.